welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to learn a latest way to connect our topnet csf console application with d365 crm version 9.x in visual studio 2019 actually there are two ways to connect your console application with the crm one is the organization service proxy and second is the crm service client organization service proxy is the oldest way and crm service client is the latest way so in this session we will learn how we can use the crm service client to connect our dotnet console application with crm so let's get start firstly open a visual studio click on create a new project now in the search box search it for console Now select this one console application .NET framework. Now click on next. Here you can give the project name and select the .NET framework 4.6.2. Now click on create button. It will create a project in .NET. Now firstly we will install some package in our project. To install the package, go to tools, new grid package manager, manage new grid package for solution. Here search for Microsoft dot CRM SDK dot XRM tooling dot com. You have to install this package in your project. Now click OK. Now click on I accept. It will install your, your package in your project. Now install another package in it which is system.configuration.configuration manager. manager yes this one now click on this one select the project and click on the install now both packages have been installed in your project now go to the app configuration file add a connection string of your project give the name of the connection string and in the connection string give the url of your organization give the username give the password and the authentication would be office 365 now save this one and close this one i have already write my code so i'm just going to notepad copy this code and paste it here And again go to the notepad and just copy my again this code and paste it here so if you see there is only a CRM there is only one code to connect to your application with the CRM now let's execute the project and you will see a pop-up window will come and it will looks like this now your connection has been established now close this one you can get all of this code or my blog i have mentioned my blog in the description so guys hope you like this video please subscribe it like it and share it